chapter 11, section 1. The Nile is what brought the two regions of Egypt together. The Nile is the source of Egypt's survival. It provided farming, fishing, hunting, and all of Egypt's needs. Chapter 11, section 2. <laughs> the old kingdom of Egypt was between 2700 BC and 2200 BC. During such times, they developed a political system. The law was based on their belief that Pharaoh was their god and king. They believed the gods were the superior powers in the kingdom. Egypt had four social classes Pharaoh, nobles, scribes, um, craftsmen, slaves, and farmers. The Egyptians had six gods for all different reasons. Only pharaohs and rich nobles could afford being mummified, so they could go to the afterlife. Only the rich could afford large temples and final resting places, such as pyramids. Pyramids are triangular tombs where pharaohs awaited judgment. Section 3, Chapter 11. After the Old Kingdom and the Middle Kingdom, after the Old Kingdom, the Middle Kingdom ran from 2200 B.C. to 240 B.C. During that time, the Hikos people attacked the New Kingdom, and the New Kingdom arose, which was the height of Egypt's wealth and power. They built an empire and began trade. Many different countries tried to attack Egypt and invaded it, but Ramses rose to power. Egypt had several different occupations, such as scribes, farmers, artisans, soldiers, and slaves. Chapter 11, Section 4. We learn how Egyptians were centrally advanced, their writing system, their paintings, and their architecture and sculptures. They are all still being used as inspiration in today's world.